Yo guys, what is going on? It is Royal here today, back for another episode of the Sky Block versus series on Archon, of course. Again, if you guys want to come check out the server, royal.archonhq.net. Connect with that IP. It supports me directly, and I really do appreciate it. And if you guys want to try and get yourselves a free first rank, you guys can use code Royal and Archon's Bycraft for a free first rank on any realm on the Archon. So, anyways, guys, in this episode, we have a lot of stuff to talk about, but we also have a lot of stuff to do. I don't know if you guys watched the last episode, but we will get into a lot of things here in a bit because first thing is first for this intro i actually have a trade set up with someone on the server his name is like that dream or something if we is who him really quickly he's actually a really really rich solo island 195 million island levels i have 118 million from the last episode which is still pretty solid honestly but yeah he actually told me he's gonna be switching to genesis and he has like 14 silverfish spawners. And if you guys watched the last episode of Skyblock, I ended up selling one of my silverfish spawners, or two of them actually, for that mega rod that has been super, super helpful lately. But yeah, I want to get back to at least five. And he said that he could sell me a silverfish spawner for $600 million. It's super, super expensive. We only have 690 million in our balance right now, but let me tell you, those silverfish spawners, I believe, count for like 3 million IS levels, and they make you a ton of money. So, I'm gonna go ahead and message him, yo, uh, wait, well, oh my god, yo, are you ready to do the trade i took a little while to get a reply back but let's go ahead and trade him up i'm probably going to be spending a lot of my money from here on out on just guardian spawners though unless i can keep finding these little silver fish um spawners and he actually left a book shout out to this guy once again he said he watches all of the videos so again shout out to you bro i appreciate the silver fish spawner and then this book but anyways guys let's go ahead add this silver fish spawner to the grinder really quickly boom and that should add like 3 million island levels i'm waiting yeah 122 million island levels taking a look at jewel fish's island my man's is at 30 million island levels still but if we bow him he does have a decent balance you know 1.2 billion dollars is actually pretty solid but in reality bro like that is not going to translate to how many island levels i have unless of course he is hiding value which he could be but i realistically i don't know how much value he could even be hiding so anyways guys let me go ahead go into the token shop is there anything oh there is absolutely nothing in here uh we don't really need a basic robot for this silverfish farm because someone in my comments a couple of videos ago told me that you don't get any looting on nether stars so it really makes no sense to buy a robot even though if i did want to buy this one i have 166,000 tokens and with my token methods i could easily get to 200k but it's fine because we actually want to spend tokens on something else in this video i'm gonna spend so much time grinding it for this episode because it should really really pay off in the versus series but anyways guys i'm gonna go ahead and farm this entire pumpkin farm uh, i farmed it not too long ago so it's not entirely fully grown but it's still a decent amount of tokens right here and we are gonna get into some of the talking points that we need to talk about in this episode but uh yeah really quickly I'm going to farm this entire pumpkin farm, and I'll bring you guys back in a second. All right, guys, so now we are finally back here. It's actually hours and hours later after the last clip. I believe I farmed the pumpkin farm and once again went to bed, okay? But anyways, guys, for this video, you guys can probably already tell by the title what we are going to be doing. Now, in order to set this up, I am going to need a ton of tokens. Luckily... I have a very big pumpkin farm down there, and I also have this mega rod, but you know, before we even really get into it, I have a lot of stuff to talk about from the last episode. So guys, I watched Jewelfish's latest video, I'll throw a screenshot of it on screen right now, you guys can go watch that video if you want, but... There were a couple things that he was talking about in that video that, you know, I just gotta address, bro. So first thing is first, in Jewelfish's video, 
he uh like at the very beginning he was talking about our play times right like the slash stats or whatever you can see how much play time i have and how much time connected this time connected is just afk and then play time is how much time you've actually spent on the server like moving and doing stuff right and really quickly let me go ahead and sell all of these void just for a little bit of cash really quickly boom boom and i'm actually gonna go to slash home and i am going to sell all of these trees that I believe are all ready to farm as well. That's 11 million, 1.7 right there. I just want to get all this stuff done on episode really quickly. And I'm probably going to fish at the same time. Might as well make tokens while I am talking to you guys about some of these points he made in his episode so really quickly let me throw on this default scoreboard we have 175,000 tokens 460 million dollars and i believe i spent 600 mil at the start of this video if i do slash bow jewelfish he is at 1 billion dollars i think he spent like 200 mil though which uh you know congrats if i is who i have 600 million dollars in my balance which means i am already at another billion dollars bro that quick that fast i already have more balance than him again i just withdrew all of it and slash bow i have 1.05 billion dollars and slash bow jewelfish 1.02 so first of all i am making way more money than this guy it's legit not even close so now that that is all out of the way i'm gonna go ahead and fish while i talk to you guys uh, might as well but yeah slash stats jewelfish does have more play time than me Okay, that's what like his big deal was. He was like, if you're such a grinder, why do I have more play time than you or whatever? Something like that, right? Um, maybe because I don't know, I have like five times your uh value levels, you know. Slash stats, I have three days, three hours played. And if we slash stats jewelfish really quickly, he has three days and 13 hours. And what do you have to show for it? Exactly, you know, I'm a little confused. Why would I keep grinding? If I'm already like way ahead of this kid. If somebody could explain that in the comments, that would be super, super helpful. Because again, IS who Jewelfish, he has 35 million levels. I have 131. I have almost 100 million levels more than you. What do I need to grind exactly? Now, if he's hiding value, that's props to him. You know, it's a good play. But uh, go ahead and place it. Place it, see what happens. I'm going to outgrind you 10 times out of 10. If you're hiding value right now, bro, and you're like way ahead of me or something, or it's close, show me that. And uh, I promise you, I will pass you in play time. But for right now, I legit don't see the point in grinding super, super hard when I'm already way ahead. So, uh, Jewelfish, I know you're watching this. So, here's a personal tip for me. Why don't you stop worrying about my playtime and start worrying about your island levels? And again, if you're hiding value, stop being scared. Place it all. Let me see it. You're already hiding your grinder. I've showed everything, bro. I'm not hiding anything. I'm not scared, bro. I will show you everything. And moving on to another point in his video, he was saying like, I am copying him, right? Get this. Because he started fishing first. Okay. Now it's true. He started fishing first, right? But that is because I focused on a pumpkin farm at the beginning of the season because it was better for the beginning of the season and that's just a fact it makes good tokens and it made good starter money because obviously you need cash to actually go and buy your bait over here but does he really think this whole time i didn't see him fishing in chat like whenever you're fishing sometimes you'll catch like a thousand tokens and it'll throw a little notification in public chat that everybody can see if he really thinks he was like super sneaky about it and i didn't know he's just wrong i definitely knew he was fishing it was pretty obvious the reason why i started so late is because again i am so far ahead i was not panicking anything i was legit just coasting this entire season and i wanted to save it for a special episode in the series so i was getting a bunch of other stuff done first i already knew about fishing a ton of people dm'd me on discord even put it in my comments like yo royal fishing's op and i was like all right bet i know that but I'm not really in a rush to do it because I'm already blowing this guy out of the water. Like this guy right here. Notification just popped up that he fished up a thousand tokens. That's an all chat. So I knew he's been fishing for a while, but again, he has nothing to show for it. And in his episode, he loves to talk about slash stats, dude. Like this guy, he loves it. Okay, so if I come over here to my activity statistics, I have a thousand five hundred fish caught, right? And if we go to Jewel Fish's stats, he has 2,400 fish caught. And listen, I only started fishing a couple days ago, and I'm already almost caught up to you? That's a, that's a little embarrassing. He likes to talk about all this playtime and how much fish he has caught, right? Well, I barely started, 
and I'm almost caught up to you. I'll probably pass him in this episode just to do it, honestly. And he also said in the beginning of his episode, I believe as well, that if I bought a Mega Rod, which I did, I was like losing my integrity or something because it's so hard to grind for, right? And that I basically shouldn't be allowed to buy one because it's just lame or something, okay? What's lame is that we're in a solo versus series and he admitted in his video that to go get his mega rod you obviously have to go to the pvp lake he got an entire island to defend him there it is a solo versus series okay now i wasn't tripping about it you know i was like all right whatever it's cool you do you but whenever he called me out for buying a mega rod when he had an entire team defend him for him to get his it just doesn't add up to me so yeah play smarter not harder i would have grinded the mega rod trust me but uh, i'm a solo and i'm a partner i have a big old pink partner tag above my name if i go to pvp lake i am most definitely gonna get targeted and killed unless you know i have a football team defending me i guess so yeah he's tried to say like oh he only started fishing today blah 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 like he's falling behind he knows he's losing it's just all pure cap bro Pure, pure cap. So now let's take a deeper look into the slash stats that he doesn't show you on video because he's getting absolutely cooked on it. Here's my slash stats, okay? 20,000 logs broken. Jewelfish has 24,000, okay? Little bit more than me. Who cares? I'm making way more money than him. He's just doing that for trees. Blocks broken. I'm blowing them out of the water on. Right over here, mob spawners placed. Keep in mind, this is an important one right here. 600 and 84 because we're gonna head over to slash jewel fish stats over here and code of the blocks yikes i have over triple the spawners placed jewel fish has and if we come over here and look at his pumpkins broken it gets even more embarrassing Seventy-one thousand. i legit have like eight times that so what does he have on me all right let's just think about it real quick a couple like a thousand fish caught a couple hundred fish that's it, bro. I would love to compare how much money I've made and how much money he's made this entire season and how much tokens I have made and how much tokens he's made this season. And I promise you, it's not close. So anyways, guys, I just had to talk about all of that stuff he said in his video. And don't go hating on his episode or anything. That's pretty weird. I'm the only one allowed to talk trash to him here, all right? I saw a lot of comments on his last video from a bunch of Team Royal members, which I appreciate your support. But trust me, it's chill, bro. You guys don't gotta go to his channel and hate or something like that. We're chill off camera, so... Yeah, anyways, I'm gonna wait for this last fish to come over here so I can have a full inventory, unfortunately... This time around, it does not look like we got very lucky on our fish catches, but it's all good. Let's head over to Slash Lake and sell all of these for some tokens. Oh, okay, maybe I was wrong. 11,000 tokens in that amount of time, not bad at all. And just like that, guys, if I do Slash Stats and come to the activities... We have just passed Jewel Fish in Fish Caught. So I can't wait to see what he says now about his slash freaking stats, okay? But anyways, now we have almost 700,000 tokens. And finally, we are going to get into this video. So the title is probably something similar to like an AFK token farm. If you guys have never played Archon and you don't know about this, I believe Jewel Fish has kind of started this but he only really has one like mob trophy so it pretty much is worth nothing but if you go into the token shop and come to the regular mob shop you can buy these basic trophies i believe do you need to buy these armor stands individually for fifteen thousand each um oh my god i guess i guess you do well i have a ton of tokens to spend anyway so basically you get this little armor stand right here and then you can place them and you put the token armor right here and this is actually going to generate tokens while afk all you have to do is like have an alt near it i believe and boom there we go so you guys can see it generates two tokens per minute and it adds to your island levels which i didn't even know yo that is actually lit i thought i was going to be spending a ton of tokens and not getting island levels out of it but yeah, you guys can see all of this right here. Each piece is adding two tokens per minute. So this is going to generate eight mob coins per minute right here. Wait, what? Why isn't the gold? Okay, now the gold armor loaded. But this is obviously not the best um, trophy armor you can get. You can get diamond. You can get like boss armor, koth armor, a ton of stuff. But this is the only armor that I can buy right now out of the shop. So I'm going to go ahead and buy... 
a couple armor stands. I don't know what the limit is per island. So let me just go ahead and see how many of these I can actually place. And this is going to be the fourth one. Guys, I just asked in chat and apparently you can have 10 uh, mob coin trophies per island, which is kind of a lot. All right. But uh, we have one, two, three, four, five. All right. So I need one more to complete this regular mob shop. Boom. Basic trophy. And then we can place all of this right over here all right so this is looking dope now i just have to get a ton of armor to actually fill all of these up i'm gonna see if anybody's selling boss armor or just uh tier three diamond armor because yeah this is gonna cost a lot of tokens but i do have 1.4 billion dollars and actually if i come over here we can sell some more voids and this might put us at like 1.5 billion yeah 1.5 billion right there and if I IS who, oh my God, we have like another 500 mil in our bank. Let's go. So there we go. Now, how much money do we have? Two billion dollars to see if we can uh, get anybody to sell us some of these. I have no clue what they go for at all, but I'm going to go ahead, ask in chat and see if I can find anybody that's selling tier three or boss trophies. All right, guys. So these things are actually dumb expensive. Okay. I just asked in chat. And everybody pretty much had the same consensus that these things go for around 600 million per. So I'm going to go ahead and trade AJ right here. $1.8 billion for three of those trophies. You guys can see it has the tier three helmets, tier three everything. This is absolutely unbelievable. That is insanely expensive. $1.8 million or billion dollars. Just down the drain, kind of. That's insane. So let's go ahead, start placing these down, though. They definitely look a lot better. Yo, oh, wait. Do I have to click it like that? And then I'll come over here, pick up trophy. And let me actually pick this one up as well. Move that one right there. And then where are the diamond ones? Boom. And then the last one should go right here. He has another one, but I simply cannot afford it because I'm only at two hundred million but check these things out man it's looking pretty solid for right now and apparently boss trophies this season kind of are the same thing as tier twos because they generate two tokens per minute if i go over here into the armor you guys can see this is a boss helmet and generates two tokens per minute so there's not really any point in trying to buy that so let's just go ahead go back into the token shop and we are going to buy a ton of these tier two armor pieces right here we need six more sets. You know, that is definitely going to be a lot of tokens right there. We have three, four, five, and then this should be the final set right there. Spending so many tokens on this, but hopefully it is going to pay off in the long run. I mean, I know it will because now I am making tokens AFK 24 7 like imagine whenever i'm grinding as well it's legit just like an insane amount of tokens so let me go ahead why aren't these things uh loading in hello all right there we go the token trophy farm is looking pretty solid if i go to is go this is the first thing that i am going to see i think this is actually pretty sick and we still have another 300 000 tokens left over that i don't really know what to use on because i'm already like a hundred million levels I'm over 100 million, 110 million levels ahead of Jewelfish. And again, the farms are looking pretty good. I now have over two stacks of Guardian spawners right here working on our third stack. And we also have 60 Endermite spawners with 42 IGs. So everything is looking pretty good. Guys, I think I'm going to wait for this next shop rotation, hopefully get a couple of spawners and then start spending the rest of these tokens and AFK these overnight. If you guys want to watch me collect them, I'll probably start collecting them like maybe at the end of next episode. I'm not a thousand percent sure. But yeah, you guys can see already 48 mob coins in one of these, which may not sound like a lot, but I've only been here for a couple of minutes. I might try and save up more money and try and buy even more of these. Because again, I can buy that or I can buy spawners, but I mean spawners, they will add more levels but I can just get spawners from the token shop. So it's kind of like a win-win whenever buying these. So anyways, guys, I'm going to take a cut and I'm going to wait for the next token shop rotation and I'll bring you guys back in a second. All right, guys. So now we are back. If I go into the token shop, there is actually a really good roll. Well, I mean, not the best prices, but we are going to buy all of these guardians and then buy all of these Endermites, and then the rest, not really worth it. I'm not really looking for these spawners anymore because we already have such a big lead that I don't really need them. All I really need 
is the most amount of money possible and boom there we go we are ending off this episode with over 150 million levels of value so anyways guys that is gonna go ahead and do it for this sky block episode if you guys did enjoy be sure you drop a like sub if you guys are new obviously come check out the archon if you guys want to with royal.archonhq.net and uh, yeah i guess i'll see you guys in the next episode of the versus series